Chris, we might as well welcome anybody who's watching this to the to this week's episode of Center White Live. Yep. Danny Grizzle, Chris Crump, and we are in Ella J, Georgia today. We are. Uh, tell us tell us a little bit about what's going on here, Chris. Uh, well, this whole area is booming right now. Uh, a lot of building going on. Uh, just a lot of people love this North Georgia area and uh, are moving up this way from the city. Uh, a lot of customers from Atlanta, a ton from Florida. Uh, we have people calling really from all over the East Coast. You've been covered up with calls, I understand. Yes, sir. It's covered and, uh, up. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of time here since Satterwhite built this office, and we're we're actually in the Satterwhite offices here in LJ, which is on Highway 515 mm -hmm. uh, between LJ, Georgia, and uh, Blue Ridge, mm -hmm. also called the Zell Miller Mountain Parkway. Parkway yep. uh, we're just 90 minutes north of Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. About, a, about an hour from Chattanooga, hour 20 from Chattanooga. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, when I was a kid, my family, my dad took us to, to Rock City up here yeah. on Lookout Mountain. Yeah. And that was the big, the big attraction, C7 states. Yeah. Uh, from, so we're right here at that cluster, that very corner where uh, Alabama's close, mm -hmm. Tennessee's close, uh, North Carolina's close, South Carolina's close, mm -hmm. uh, and Georgia's, of course, uh, uh, bounded by Florida. You get a lot of calls from Alabama and tons of tons of interest from Florida. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and and as much time as I've spent here, we come back over every single time. Every single time, this place is absolutely breathtaking, just stunning. Um, so we're at the we're at the Satterwhite Show Home here today. And for those of you who haven't seen this, let me just switch over. I had prepared. I'm going to be working the technology here at the same time today, especially if my laptop tries to go to sleep. And I'm going to show you a little something on the Setter White Log Homes website. I'm going to switch to this for a second here. And all of you can tune this in, but right here on our home page, you'll see a couple of things. Um, you know, these um, are these pictures that we're seeing here. Is that the show home here? That is not. Well, if it's not, it's a mirror image because people who see this place, a lot of people who build something similar. Yep. And, you know, we're all, uh, are we not all holding our breath, hoping this COVID thing is losing its grip on us? Uh, but Satterwhite has resumed with our seminars, our in-person seminars, cautiously. Uh, small, in fact, we didn't even publicize uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. We just took people who had been on the waiting list and we did one at half capacity at distance. So we've, we've had a seminar this spring and the first one post COVID that's pretty much open to new people in the public. If you go to our website, you'll see that, but we want you to call our 800 number in Longview, Texas. And right now, and it's uh, what did the date say, it'll flash by every couple of pictures here on our first, homepage. I think it's the first weekend of October. Yeah, October one yep. and two, yep. there it is. But the other thing that you can find on our homepage is this video that was made by Log Home Living Magazine a couple or three years ago mm -hmm. and called Dream It, Do It. And that video is excellent. It has a lot of, of, of uh, pictures from this facility that we're in um, here in Georgia. Yep. And we're going to go on a little short uh, tour, you and me, just a little walk around the lobby. As we can't go very far because we're dealing with wireless mics that don't have very good range or anything. In fact, we may break up a little bit or I may leave you on the bottom floor okay. and you can watch the monitor and describe for folks what they're seeing as sure. I roam around the building here in a minute. But, okay. but tell us a little bit about this, about this office. It's three levels and what each level? It's three levels. Uh, it's our uh... Well, it's our Mountain Laurel floor plan and our uh, Mountain Inspirations catalog. And uh, it's around 5,200 square feet. So you have 2,000 in the terrace level, you have 2,000 on this main level, and then you got 1,200 up top. So this main level, we have a nice open kitchen dining, um, master off the main. Um, and then up top, you have two bedrooms with two baths and a loft that we converted into an office. Yeah. yeah. That bottom level, I've, I've photographed so many of these and. And so many folks who build, they, you know, this is a getaway or maybe a retirement residence mm -hmm. or a second home. Uh, but I've seen so many of these houses where, uh, you know, it's people my age, uh, 
uh, who are building these things. And so I've got five grandkids and yep. boy, that would be so ideal to have a home like this up in the mountains and they'll take, and they'll take that bottom level mm -hmm. and sometimes they put an entire separate apartment. It could be a, yeah. a mother-in-law apartment or sometimes a separate apartment for adult children who are visiting. But a lot of times mm -hmm. they'll take and make a huge game room yep. and a bunk house for yep. all those grandkids. They put, a, I can't believe somebody will put 12 bunk beds yeah. in a room and like they expect their grandkids to get any <laughs> sleep at all, they get they get visiting. Or they'll do that bunk treatment in the loft. Up in that office area, uh, yeah. I've seen that done multiple times. The loft of this home, will they turn that into a game room because these kids, all they are, all got to have their nose glued to the video screens and all. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just, just anything that you want to do with this home, uh, just a real sanctuary in the mountains here for a lot of families. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's breathtaking, beautiful it around here. Thank you. I'm born and raised right here, so I'm yeah. kind of partial to the area, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took, uh, I took and posted on my, of course, I'm from Texas. I, both me and my wife grew up in Texas, and I, I put on my Facebook feed just the simplest of simple pictures mm -hmm. when we got in town the other night uh, where we're staying has a good oh, yeah. view of the mountains. And I tell you, more people hit the like button on that. I had all her friends that are just going wild. Yeah. It just, and it's just a simple picture with a, all the bug stains in front of our car in it. But, but yeah, this is very appealing Everything is here. pretty right now. Everything's green and everything's all bloomed. Flowers have bloomed. The pollen's finally gone, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's starting to heat up a little bit, but it's been yeah, nice. A little we've, bit. Had a, we've had a cool, cool spring. So yesterday... And I'm, I, can, I think I can make this work. This isn't going to be as smooth. Folks, the reason I'm here uh, traveling is, uh, is uh, I'm dealing with the technology over here. Well, I deal with the technology, the company everywhere, and it's, it's just that time in our, our cycle of life that we're doing some computer maintenance and work on the telephone. So a few weeks ago, I was broadcasting from the Utah mm -hmm. office, and then we had a nice letter from somebody that asked, well, show us around the Longview office. So one week on Center What Live, we, we ran through the Longview facility with Blake and Josh. Yep. And that's not something you can run through real quick. Uh -huh. I mean, that ran half an hour yeah. uh, before we could, um, our little video. We're gonna keep this simpler today, but, but yesterday, you mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and James Aaron, yep. who also works here, uh, we hopped in a, Satterwhite pickup here in LJ mm -hmm. and went over into, so people who are not familiar with this, there's a, a lot of uh, development in the mountains here. We went into the Kusawati, it's called the Kusawati River Resort. Kusawati River Resort. Yep. And people live all over the country. There's gated communities and there's nice areas around, uh, around where I live. There's developments, but there is, I've never heard of anything like the Kusawati River Resort, mm -hmm. 900 miles of roads yep. back up in those mountains. And if you can imagine in 900 miles, how many homes and log homes, and log homes are the dominant t style of, of structure, yep. uh, which is appealing in the reason that Satterwhite moved into this part of the country because uh, this is the reverse of every place else on earth. 90% of the homes around here are log, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not, not the uh, outlier like it would be in Texas. Uh, so 900 miles and they've been building log homes up in there and it's still amazing how beautiful this it lot is. and this property was. Mm -hmm. It was like you would thought it would have been one of the first to go. Uh, it, was, it was just beautiful. Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over and, and just our little, um, if I can remember which button to push. Here we go. And let's, we're not gonna have any sound to this, so let's just tell folks what's going on here, Chris. Yeah, this is a, uh, it's a full custom home, uh, like Danny said, in the Kusawati River Resort, overlooking the river. Um, it's not a stock plan or anything like that. Uh, a local designer here designed this plan for uh, one of our preferred builders, Ron Lamonico. So he's the, he's the general contractor on this home. That's the river back behind that uh, backhoe there. Mm -hmm. That's you and James walking around and taking a quick look because, man, y'all are so fortunate that y'all build so many homes so close to the office here. The guys in Longview 
because we're building all over the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't just build in Georgia and Texas. I mean, we've got homes stretching from Maine to California to from Washington to Florida. Uh, we've got literally tens of thousands of homes across the nation. Mm -hmm. But this, look at these basements. Y'all build on such steep ground here. It's yep. unimaginable to those of us from Texas. Say over 70% of the homes that we build up here are on basements just because the land will dictate it. We have a special catalog that's available from Satterwhite called the Mountain Inspirations. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a code word because... Uh, the mountain, the difference between a mountain floor pan and a standard one like a ranch design or what we'd see in Texas, the, the real difference is the footprint. Mm -hmm. Because when you get on ground that's so steep that you can't stand on it, mm -hmm. uh, the foundation costs become uh, a big, big, big factor mm -hmm. in the cost of that home. Here's from the top deck. I walked out up uh, on the third level. So this, a lot of three level homes, you get your square footage in these mountain plans by going on multiple levels yep. and uh, like I say this this house is at the state it's a little bit past the state of dry in mm -hmm. of a of a conventional satterwhite shell mm -hmm. it was just something available to us to go look at yesterday but y'all have dozens of jobs going on or mm -hmm. at some stage or yep. another here absolutely uh, but but uh, when we ca when we called the builder uh, he had just been to this one and said that it was uh, it was clean, basically. Yeah, they cleaned it up, yeah. Probably but, just had some inspections and stuff. How many miles y'all got on that Dodge? Actually, it's not as, not as many as you think. That's, uh, you know, that's, that, that's a vehicle y'all keep around here. If you come visit us in LJ, um, that, that vehicle will, is uh, what Chris can take you out for a tour and mm -hmm. whatever's going on at the time. I mean, if you uh, if you're far along that far along in your plans, then Chris can take you out to have a look around. Okay, Chris, what I'd like to do is switch to. I'm going to grab. I've got a camera on a wireless video behind you, and I mean, we're just going to wrap this up by just. We can't. The wireless range of this little rig is not good enough for us to really roam, and also because we we're wearing wireless mics, so you guys can hear us talk. Uh, so the wireless range of this is not so good that we can really go very far, but we're just going to take a quick look. I say we are. I hope my battery's not dead. It's always something with the technology, folks. <laughs> Lovely. I'm going to power cycle this. This is dead air, Chris. <laughs> Cover for me, man. <laughs> yeah, the battery's low. The battery's hurting. Anyway, we'll do what we can. We'll, this video is going to go long enough till the battery gives out or something happens here. But let's just have a look at this show home. And uh, I mean, here's the kitchen that we've we've been sitting at the edge of the kitchen. One of the problems I was worried about as I set this up is it, it's such a beautiful day outside. Yeah. But, of course, it's sunlit, and we're, we're working with not a lot of... We just have one little light panel to keep us out of the shadows where we sit over here at the edge of the dining room. Watch the screen, Chris, and mm -hmm. tell us what we're looking at. Yeah, this has a big, nice, open, great room. Uh, Big vaulted ceilings. You're looking up toward the uh, the loft there, where there, like I said, is two more beds and baths with the uh, office up there. But yeah, nice high vaulted ceilings, spruce beams, aspen on the tongue groove on the ceilings, and then that's uh, front door there. And then over to the left there is Carrie's. We have a desk there. Did Carrie room. run off? I wanted to point the camera at her. I made the mistake of telling no, her that. She's back there. Oh, she's back there. <laughs> Love Carrie, who will greet you when you come to our office. Hi, hey, everyone. <laughs> and I guess this area that is Carrie's little office cubby would normally be what? Uh, uh, we've had people leave it like that or uh, even do kind of a wet bar there. Or if you don't need that, that, that wall comes all the way out to where you're standing, Danny, and makes a bigger master bath. 
Yeah. So the master suite just gets a, a lot bigger. A guest bathroom right on off the uh, mm -hmm. great room. And I, I think we'll arrange this. We'll hope that this works. We'll the Yep. Yeah, good size master. Uh, I mean, that's a king size bed, so there's plenty of room in there. Uh, nice big bay windows for your view side. Yep, nice big master bath here. This one has a tub in it, two closets there. Um, has a nice tile shower with, uh, with a double vanity. Good sized bathroom. I'm going to run upstairs. I don't think the wireless will let me go down in the basement. Okay. But I did the test earlier, and we can the stairs. Beautiful yeah, these, stairs too, yeah, by the be, way. Yep, yeah, these are the uh, the half log uh, stairs. Over. Yep. Now looking back down over the great room. Almost see Chris again down there in the dining area. <laughs> Big open floor plan. Yeah, this could be an open loft or you could close it off like this for an office. Um, good size room up there with a little balcony off the back. And if you look on the walls of this bedroom, you see some of the blue ponderosa pine that, uh, that we sell. Yeah, you can put on ceilings or do some accent walls with it. Uh, just a pretty product. There's one of the bathrooms up top, good sized bathroom. And then the, the next bedroom is just a pretty much a mirror image of the other. Each has their own bath. Well, that's a glimpse of it. All right, Chris. That was the full tour. Well, except for the basement. Well, yeah. And the warehouse. <laughs> All the goodies. <laughs> And the cookies. We've always got cookies and treats here. In fact, Mrs. Satterwhite, I'm going to tell some secrets here. This is always ready to go. The cookie oven. <laughs> they are good. Yep. So, what's our hours and people can so, come visit uh, us? Yep, 8 to 5 Monday through Friday, and then uh, we're here 9 to 2 on Saturdays. Feel free to stop by, uh, give us a call, and yeah, if we have, like we do now, we have a few houses under construction in the area, we'd be happy to, you know, take you and show you a couple. I think lots of people come here, even if they're going to build someplace else. Mm -hmm. If you're just wanting to do your homework and, and see the real full range of possibilities, uh, this is, this, I've heard many people say that this, this is one of the most beautiful models in the entire log home industry. Mm -hmm. Sort of work, worth a trip if you're planning in, in on a home. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is really something to see. Yep. Particularly when I'm not here with all my, my, <laughs> my technical garbage everywhere. So, <laughs> all right. 
What else can we say? I think we've covered it, Danny. Come see us. Yeah, come <laughs> see us. Or call those guys in Longview if you have to. Yeah, I guess Blake and Josh will probably be back on here next week. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're they're uh, the normal TV stars. Oh, yeah. You know, there's uh, Centerwide actually has a lot of guys in that work, but most people are can, camera shy. Mm -hmm. Um, Carrie is about the nicest person. <laughs> I, I, I hope she doesn't like throw rotten fruit at me after we're off the air, but she she was awful nice to let it's us like point a, a camera at her <laughs> because most of them, when we tried to do that in Longview a couple of weeks ago, everybody just, you know, they ran for the hills. Okay, that's it, huh? Hey guys, thanks for being with us and, yep. and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Perfect. We're still on the air, Chris. Don't say anything bad about me yet. Not yet. <laughs>